after fifth grade, I transferred to a Catholic school from public school. Um, I went to St. Bernadette's. And um, at first, I was a little bit nervous about you know, having to wear a uniform every day and making new friends. But um, my parents had told me that they serve Ann John's pizza every Friday. And um, for me, for my sixth grade self, that was enough for me to be like convinced it's going to be worth it. So middle school, I feel like, is your first taste of freedom. You know, My public school friends got lockers, and they were given the huge responsibility to get to class on their own. Um, where we, on the other hand, had these like communal cubbies in the back of the, our classroom, and we were escorted door to door um, in single file line by our teacher. So we had and we had to wear these like plaid jumpers, uh, button down yellow uh, shirts, non skid shoes. We couldn't dye our hair, couldn't paint our nails, couldn't wear makeup, couldn't chew, chew gum, nothing. Um, there really wasn't much in the way of freedom. Uh, we could choose like the milk percentages. <laughs> you know, at lunch, that's about it. Um, so a lot of my public school friends really sympathized with me because all of their fun was revolving around things like painting their nails and dyeing their hair. Um, but I kind of liked it because our fun started revolving around things like taking all of these rules and finding new ways and like creative ways to break them without really breaking them, like finding the loopholes. So um, we had to wear uniforms, but there was no rule on what kind of socks you could wear. So I had like polka dot socks and striped socks and socks with bells and like whistles. And, uh, I actually did have a pair of socks with, um, you press a button and they played music. Um, and we couldn't chew gum, but we found this thing called Vitaball, which is a gumball vitamin um, that you chew like gum. But if anyone was like, hey, spit out that gum, you'd be like, no, it's my vitamin. Um, and, and the makeup thing wasn't a huge deal, but we did find clear mascara, which every now and then we put on because, you know, we were in middle school. Um, and these were our freedoms, like, they were small and contained, but we felt like we earned them because we had, like, found the loophole. Um, and so that was good. It was good, but it wasn't enough because we were in middle school, I was a middle child, needed more. So my friend and I created this group. Uh, called the Pranksters, and the Pranksters uh, consisted of my friend and I playing pranks in school. And um, we did things like tie invisible boondoggle to rubber spiders and like drag it around the hallway, um, or buying that like slimy, goofy stuff at Party City and putting it in tissues on our like classmates' desks. Um, once we switched the men and women's bathroom signs, but not the actual men and women's bathroom signs, like the laminated Spanish ones below those that our teacher had put up to help us learn the language. Um, but of all the things that we did, my favorite prank was on a day that I had early dismissal. And early dismissal, you know, is when your parent comes and picks you up early and the principal calls over the loudspeaker, you know, that you get to leave class and you get to get up and, and leave before everyone else. So it's, it's already great. But my friend and I, my friend and the pranksters, we were like, wouldn't it be hilarious if I hid in the cupboard in the front of the room, and then when the principal calls, I like walk out of the cupboard and I walk out of class. <laughs> and we were like, this is going to be the best thing ever. So, uh, you know, lunch ends, we, everyone's putting away their lunch boxes, and uh, like getting out their textbooks, and I like sneak up into the cupboard in the front of class. I'm like waiting there, waiting, and um, feels like forever. Um, and then finally, Sister Diane's voice booms over the loudspeaker, and I had never been so excited to hear the words, Emily Tomasic's mother is here to pick her up, spoken. I bust out of the cupboard, walk out of class, and everyone's laughing like it's the funniest thing a sixth grader's ever seen. Um, so I'm like so happy, but of course, like I don't get off scot free. My teacher, I have to write lines because it's Catholic school, so I have to write 50 times. I will not hide inside the cupboard <laughs> to learn my lesson. <laughs> and I didn't even have to because one of my cla other classmates had started the side business where he would do it for you for five dollars. <laughs> but I did it because. Uh, you know, to me that was a small price to, play, to pay for um, 
you know, a, a running joke in the class for the rest of the year. Um, so now when I look back at all of my years of, of schooling and I think to myself, what have I really learned? I think in middle school, I had developed, that's when I kind of developed my knack for creativity and also honed my handwriting skills. So, thank you.